Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. This video, we're going to be talking about lists and array lists inside of Java. It's going to be pretty intense because we're going to be talking about a lot of new stuff if you've been following along the series from the beginning. So make sure you put your big boy pants on or big girl pants on. Buckle up because it's going to get pretty intense. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So the first thing, let's talk about how we create a list. It's very simple, you just say list with a capital L, and then you put the less than and greater than sign, and you put the type. Then what we do is we give it a name such as grades, and we're going to assign something to it. Now, there are various types of lists in Java, but we don't necessarily care about the inner workings of how these lists work. Let's compare it to something we might understand a little bit better in the real world. When you are driving a car, you don't really have to worry a whole lot about the inner workings of the engine and all of this stuff. It is abstracted away from you. All you care about is the steering wheel, which you can use to turn, the pedal, which you can use to speed up, and the brake, which you can use if you're a wussy. That's similar to what's going on over here. All we're saying is that grades is some list. It doesn't matter what type of list. And then over on the right, we can be specific and say what kind of list we want. So this is where we get to pick our car style, our engine, and so forth. So to do that, we can say new, and the example we're going to use, our, our choice of engine, is going to be an array list. And similarly, we have to put the type inside of the less than and greater than sign. And we end it off with parentheses. So these have red lines under them because we have to import some stuff. So hover over list and import list from java.util. Hover over array list and import array list from java.util. There we go. So you can see no compiling errors, everything should be good. So on the left, we made grades very general. All we care about is that some type of list is assigned to it. On the right, we're very specific and we say we definitely want an array list. It might not be super clear up front why we're doing this, but the main reason is so that we can basically swap out the implementation without changing a whole lot. So for example, instead of an array list, we could have a linked list and that's also going to need imported. So import linked list from java.util. And you can see this also compiles. All of this is basically giving you a taste of object-oriented programming and interfaces. So when we're going back to the illustration of the car, the steering wheel, pedal, and brake, that is known as the interface. It's how we work with the car. The internals of the car, the body style, all of that, that's known as the implementation. So when we're choosing a car, we don't necessarily have to worry about the implementation as long as the interface is the same, it's what we understand. And it allows us to easily swap out an engine or swap out a different paint style and everything works exactly the same way. Now enough of that stupid illustration with the car, let's talk about this in code and explain what an interface is versus an interface implementation. So list over here, this is an example of an interface. Linked list or array list is an example of an implementation. So there's a good resource on the internet. So if you just search Java API documentation, you can click the Java API Oracle Help Center. You can get the, the right number if you need, but it's all pretty much gonna be the same for this example. And what we can do is we can actually use Command F or Control F on Windows and search for array list. We can open that and we can see a little bit more about this class. And looking in here, you can see implemented interfaces, and one of these is list. So what this means is that an array list has met the requirements to be considered a list, and then that can be assigned to the list type which we used in our code over here. So going back over here, you can click list, and you can see the things we can do with a list. So here are some of the methods that are available to us and so forth. So this would be a good document if you want to get a little bit more in the details, but for now, I think we got a pretty good understanding of interfaces 